This is a quick tutorial on generating heat maps in Node-RED. Uh, so we'll be uh, generating or designing something like this. And for uh, for the heat map, we are using eCharts.js, which is a JavaScript library. And we'll try to mimic uh, a similar heat map, heat map on Node-RED. Uh, this is in continuation of my previous video. Uh, where we were talking about using external libraries in Node-RED and there I use eCharts to generate a line graph. Uh, feel free to check that out as well. Uh, the link in the description below. Uh, by the way, this flow is available for free download. Uh, again, uh, check the description. Now to get started, I have a template node here and I'll be using this template node to generate this uh, static heat map. Uh, and if I open it, it looks something like this. So we have a script tag where we are including the eCharts uh, library. We have a div defined with an ID main. And in my script, I'm initializing the eChart uh, library or the module on that div uh, with, an, with an ID main. And if you look at this example, uh, you can actually copy and paste this whole code uh, under the script tag here and it should work uh, automatically and you should see something uh, like this but i made some tweaks for this demo to make it a little easier uh, so here we have x-axis which i'm calling machines y-axis days and my data uh, which is called data temp and in each hour's heat map to define the data you can do uh, so the format is x, y, and value. So x coordinate, y coordinate, and value. So here it's, uh, so if you look at the first value, which is 0, 0, 1. So that means x is 0, y is 0, and the value is 1. So if you look at the heat map, you see x is 0, y is 0, and the value is 1. So this is how you uh, define the data for the heat map uh, on each charts. And then I have some options defined, uh, uh, some options for the visual map. So you can customize this. Uh, based on the requirement, uh, just look at the, doc the documentation on uh, eCharts on the website. And then I set these options to my chart variable, which was uh, defined right here. And once this is done, you should have something like this. Uh, so this is what we get. It's a static heat map. Uh, nothing changes because the data is uh, defined in the heat map itself. Now we'll look into how we can update this uh, the data uh, on the heat map. So let me disable this node and I'll enable another node uh, which is plotting a dynamic data. So here we have, I have an inject interval which injects a message every five seconds and I'm generating a mock data every five seconds. So I have again, X axis, Y axis and the data here and I'm generating uh, random values every five seconds. And that is being pushed into this payload object uh, uh, and that's uh, like returned uh, in our message object. And our message.payload is uh, x-axis, y-axis, and the data itself. Now once you define this in the UI template node, you can actually watch, watch for the messages and update the heat, heat map dynamically. Uh, so here, Again, we have the script tag, we have the div defined for the heat map, and for for the first part, we exactly we are exactly doing the same thing we were using on static heat map. So the code till here, it's exactly the same for the static heat map. Uh, this is to load a heat map on the first deploy. Uh, so this will load the default values of the heat map as soon as you deploy, and when a message comes in. It will update the values uh, of uh, of the of the heat map uh, based on the message payload, which we are doing right here. So right here, we are watching for the message. So we have uh, a scope defined, and we are watching for the incoming messages, and we are getting the messages right here. Now here, instead of uh, predefining the values, the x and y values, and the data values, I am using this message object, which contains our x and uh, y values and the data uh, messages, sorry, and the data values from the previous uh, function node. So here I am 
so here my data is so my x-axis data is my data dot machines which is again the payload that I defined in the pre uh, previous step and my y data is my data dot day and my actual value for the data is my data dot data underscore temp and everything else is uh, the same and we are setting those options again so what this does is this will load the first uh, chart with the default values which are defined right here and as soon as it receives a new message a new message in this case we are generating this mock data uh, with this new payload it'll push this new payload to uh, my template my ui template heat map and it will replace this predefined data with my my payload which is message.payload and it will update the x coordinates y coordinates and also the actual data uh, it's inside the payload and so once this is done uh, we hit deploy now if i go back to our dashboard you'll see it'll load the first heat map the default values now after five seconds it will update the heat map with uh, the mock data that i'm pushing uh, every five seconds so you see the heat map uh, updating itself uh, dynamically all right so i hope that helped uh, uh, free, feel free to download this flow link in the description um, thank you